everyone welcome to my channel welcome to our channel so how are you all doing my beautiful family i hope you guys are doing well yes because i am fine so i know that you are well and good wherever you are all right so you are highly welcome back today to my channel to our channel if today is your first time or you're just stopping by to say hi i promise you saying hi and welcome back to my channel welcome back to our channel so please do consider clicking on the red button subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notification select all is just free you are not paying for it so you will always get notified from youtube whenever i upload a new video in this channel we talk about the spiritual tips the health tips and also the beauty tips on how you help your individual life in spiritual realm and the physical realm in daily basis so believe me you are not going to regret being part of this family so subscribe all right thank you thank you for my return subscribers thank you very much for coming back today i love you always you know i love you now so stay blessed wherever you are so in today's video i want to talk on the sum of when i say some of the spiritual benefits of an aloe vera yes aloe vera aloe vera also has a lot of health benefit but today we'll be focusing on few benefits of spiritual benefits sorry of an aloe vera so you are highly welcome the last and let's go so aloe vera is a plant that we most at times we plant in our home in some places where you go they plant it but they thought oh this is just for um health issue but believe me aloe vera is highly highly spiritual when you are using it number one you can use aloe vera to remove negativities to remove eye bad eyes to remove some evil things in your life sometimes if you are not getting your inner peace you are feeling so down you are feeling something is just out of me like you are not just fine you can have the aloe vera but believe me it helps to remove those negativities and believe me when you have this bad the kind of peace inner peace you are going to have is going to be amazing like so now how did you use it you just plug an aloe vera the aloe vera Put it inside a bucket of water and leave it overnight. In the morning, wake up and remove that aloe vera. You can dispose it, use the water and bet. You can equally bet your children. Like sometimes if you are, like some kids, they don't sleep at night. They were just having some strange night smell. They always feel restless at night that they cannot sleep very well. You can have aloe vera. You can use aloe vera to bet them to remove those negativities. And you see that child is going to have peace. All right. So generally, you can use aloe vera to remove negativities, to remove evil eyes, especially when you notice that some people are just looking for you. Some people are not just happy for you. Some people are just plugging or doing evil against you. You can use aloe vera to bed to remove all those things. And when they look at you, they will not see you. Another way you can use aloe vera spiritually is by putting it in your home let me tell you some houses some people that is highly spiritual when you enter their compound or when you go to their home you will see an aloe vera even people that did not plant it on the milk ground you know they will just get something like bath or whatever just put sand and put the aloe vera and they will be putting water every day to eat to make you to be alive then understand what they do because it helps to remove bad energies it helps to remove witches attack it helps to remove negativities out of the home so if you have aloe vera in your home believe me it has a lot of spiritual benefits it helps to remove some evils coming into that home you know a lot of people will say oh how do you know evil is coming let me tell you the way human being is that is where the house we are living is so that is why that most of the times it's very good you cleanse your house you remove negativities there are some things that we are passing through we are passing through in life is not as a result of our village people it's not as a result of us or something else it might be as a result of something in that home that is why that sometimes you go out you have a deal with people everything went well everything goes well as far as you come into your house you sleep over the house the next day the deal will be destroyed because that house has some bad energy some bad spirits that is working in that home until you cleanse to remove to settle the spirit you keep having disappointment rising and falling and all that so 
in most cases, house our house needs pressure cleansing. So aloe vera is also very good in doing that when you have it in your home. It helps to remove those energy. And let me tell you, sometimes, you know, sometimes aloe vera doesn't die just that easily. But you notice that sometimes, like, you have an aloe vera in your home and all of a sudden the thing just died, the thing just dry up. My dear, just look for an, for a solution because that should be because a very bad omer has come into that home. Or it can be in a community. There is some community you will be like this, you have it and maybe there is something. If they notice like the evil one that you have it, they will be looking for a way to kill it. Yes, you don't know. They, because they know that whatever they are doing is not just manifesting in that house. So they are just using, and they are just looking for a way to kill or to destroy that aloe vera in order for their evil to be manipulating in that house. So anytime you have aloe vera in your house, all right, and all of a sudden aloe vera just die, all of, uh, the aloe vera just dried up like that, is not always a good sign. It means there is some negativities that enter into that home or that community you are. So all you need to do is to stand up, pray harder, use your normal things that you need to cleanse the house to remove the negativity. If possibly, return or replace that aloe vera with a new one. And believe me, no eyes shall see that home. In a house where there is children, it's always advisable. Even if you don't plant it, sometimes just get a few of the aloe vera, drop it in your home, like drop it anywhere that is safe. Believe me, it removed the eyes of the enemy out of that home. Really, aloe vera has a lot of spiritual benefit, but I think I'll, I'll also advise you to just get some few pieces of the aloe vera, all right? Keep it in your home for some reasons when it dries up because if you, are, if you did not plant it, because of there is no constant water generating on it, it might die. But when it dies, to replace another one for some time. You can do it once in a week, once in two weeks, once in a month, depend on your personal decision all right but believe me it has a lot of special benefit and finally always have this aloe vera but you can have it for your children it's very very good in the life of children get it cut it into pieces put it inside a bucket of water allow it to settle the next day use it and use your hand as a mother as a parent use it and bet your children and be praying in that as a stripling as is doing that. That is how you are removing everything. Any eyes that will be looking at your children, that will be looking at their glory, whatever, that as this aloe vera is, so shall their eyes be blind. Believe me, it works and you really help them in every areas of life. All right. So I think I have to stop here on the, on my next video. Like I may say more about the aloe vera. So try to get one today. Even if not for anything, have the aloe vera bath. And believe me, you are going to have an inner peace. It's really, really tested and trusted. So I wish I share with you always. So thank you and stay blessed. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn the bell notification if you have not done that. And give the video a thumbs up. See you in my next video. Stay blessed. Bye.